Hi everyone and welcome back to ArticRC and TrottleStore.com uh, Today is the last review of the year 2011 and uh, I got a mail from a person that wanted to know a little bit about Retrax. Uh, my knowledge about Retrax are not that good but I'm going to try to explain a little bit about um, the Retrax that I choose and why I did choose them, okay? The Retrax I'm going to talk about today is uh, the DSR2 from EPF Hobby. These Retrax are proven to be very very good and very stable. So, what's unique with these Retrax? This is how they look. I'm going to give you a closer look later. Uh, these are with installed motors. Uh, they also have a control box with them and you can choose from 3 cell up to 6 cell uh, powering. I'm going to use a 4 cell today because that's the plug that came with these ones. Uh, you connect them, the power you connect to the balance plug on your battery and of course you put the wire in the gear channel on your receiver. So let's do that. Here I have my AR6200 receiver from Spectrum. I put this one in gear like that. I put the ESC in throttle like that. I will switch on my transmitter and connect the battery like that. And of course the control box for the Retrax I put in the balance plug of the battery like this. Now you can see a little green light on the control box and everything should be perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you now. I will put these two together like this and I'm going to switch the gear channel on my transmitter. And of course nothing happens because I did push the wrong button. Okay, the gear channel. Sorry guys. And as you can see, let me show you, I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to be quite technical today. You have this lock mechanism here, so you won't have any, any glitch at all. The only thing that's flappering is the wheel, but if I hold this one, there's nothing at all. Okay, back again. The other thing that is great with these retracts, instead of those controlled by servos and a link uh, and a rod that goes from the servo to the retract arm, is that if you are driving on grass or something like this, okay, let's say you get a piece of wood or uh, something that is stuck between your wing and the retract, uh, the retract, then the uh, wheel or the gear will bind to this object and you will most likely burn your servo or strip the gears on the servo of course depends on the quality of the servo but this one has a nice feature let me show you I'm going to disconnect one of those now I don't need both of them just follow and I will stop it as soon as this motor feel some resistance at all it will stop it won't strip the gear, it won't 
break at any cost. So okay, you think how to get it back again because now it's uh, unstable and it's not up, it's not down. Well, it's an easy way to do it. You just switch on the gear again. Let the gear set and lock and then you take it back again and it will lock in place there. You, you won't have anything that's sort of falling out of your plane during flights. Uh, EPF uh, hobby retracts are really really good. Uh, you can buy the more expensive ones but I would still buy these ones for my plane and I have ordered a box with another set for a smaller aircraft that I'm going to show you um, in the year 2012 as soon as the snow has disappeared here. So if you want to see a bit more on the specs on this one you can go into throttlestore.com and just check out uh, plane accessories and you will go into the into the um, retrax. Now we are starting to send up firecrackers. Okay, so you guys, this is what I have for you today. And again, this is the final review of the year 2011. If there are any questions at all about these retrax, please just send me a mail or just comment on this video and I will of course answer you. So happy new year guys and welcome back next year. Bye.